The kingdom of heaven will be in Jerusalem. And if you're a Christian right now, you will not be part of that kingdom of heaven in Jerusalem. You'll be part of the kingdom of God. So let's look at what the scriptures say about that. Jesus said, Many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. That's the east and west of where he was speaking, which was Israel, Jerusalem, and sit down with Abraham. Now, Abraham had been dead a long time when he said that, about 2,000 years. been 4,000 years now. But in the coming kingdom of heaven, people are going to come from east of Jerusalem. That means Jordan, Syria, Kuwait, India, China, Afghanistan, all out through there. They're going to come from the east, come to Jerusalem, and they're going to sit down in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to come from the west, north, the south, everywhere. They will come. Not so regarding the kingdom of God. A lot of times you'll have a parable or a statement in Matthew says the kingdom of heaven is like unto, and then you'll have it in Luke says the kingdom of God is like unto. There's no equal statement regarding the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God are not the same. Now, due to the influence of Calvinism and uh, later Puritanism, which was Calvinism, there's a universal ignorance of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, the difference between the two kingdoms. Now, that ignorance comes from not taking the word of God as it is written word for word, but rather allegorizing it, spiritualizing it, seeing it as a religious spiritual lesson to the individual rather than as a doctrinal fact stated by God himself. So why the confusion? Let's look at what the scriptures say. God is the author of that confusion. What do the scriptures say? And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Good question. Strange answer. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it's not given. So Jesus is speaking about this kingdom of heaven, and they want to know, Why are you talking that way? Now, they didn't understand the kingdom of God either. They didn't understand the difference. And he said, because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So the Bible is written to reveal and to conceal. So God wants them ignorant of the kingdoms, not the disciples, but the group called them. That's those outside the faith. So he speaks of the kingdoms in a mystery form. Now there are seven mysteries of the kingdom, and then there's the doctrine of the children of the kingdom. You won't know which is which if you don't understand the difference in the kingdoms. There's the gospel of the kingdom, parables of the kingdom, word of the kingdom, keys of the kingdom, and heirs of the kingdom. That's why I wrote this book, so you would know the difference, and your doctrine would be clear. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. So he's contrasting Israel that didn't have any faith and this Gentile, if you read the story, which did have faith. And he said he's not seen the likes of faith in Israel. And he said, but I want to tell you something in the future. These Gentiles will come from the east and the west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of feet. Now, we talked about that once before, the children of the kingdom. Uh, we, we point out that if this is written to the church and this is about the kingdom of God, then you've got children of the kingdom going to hell. That is, you've got a whole lot of Christians going to hell if this is the kingdom of God. It's not. It's the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is a physical, visible, literal kingdom that can be violently taken by force by the devil or his crowd. 
and set up an evil and a wicked reign as we are experiencing right now in America and most nations around the world. The Bible says the devil is the God of this world. He is in, tro in control of the kingdom. Remember when Jesus was tempted on the Mount of Temptation? Satan said, showed him the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said, all these will I give you if you fall down and worship me. Now that was a legitimate offer. That was a real temptation. He owned the kingdoms of the world, still does. There's coming a time when Jesus comes back and takes the kingdom from Satan, crushes the nations with a rod of iron, and sets up a physical, visible kingdom on this earth ruled by Jesus Christ himself. That's not the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God right now is within us. It's not seen, it's not touched, it's not handled. There's coming a day, and don't, 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 don't doubt it. There's coming a day when the Bible said the books will be opened and another book is opened, which is the book of life, and the dead will be judged by those things which are written in the books according to their works. And the children of the kingdom, the one God wanted to inherit the kingdom, the Jewish people, some of them, not all of them, but many of them, just as there be many Gentiles, will be cast into outer darkness. The Bible says the angels took them and cast them into the lake of fire. I don't like to picture that. I can't conceive of that. If I were God, I, I wouldn't do that. That's such a horrible thing to me. But the Bible teaches it. I have to believe it because he said it. A day of suffering and torment. But you see, there's a way out right now. It won't be later, but right now there is. God provided a way over the chasm of hell. You don't have to go. That way is Jesus Christ. He died on a cross and paid the price for your sin. In fact, he descended into the lower parts of the earth, into hell. And after three days, he came out resurrected, and now he offers his the benefits of his death and resurrection on your behalf. He died so you don't have to. So now you can live right now. You can live. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and the spirit of God will come into you right now. Or where you sit. <laughs> I'm not a TV evangelist, but I've seen this happen thousands of times to thousands of people. And I know there's some of you right now listening who've wanted to know the Lord Jesus. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to get baptized. You don't have to do anything except right where you are. Give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on him. And when you do, you'll be born again and you'll enter the kingdom of God instantly. And you'll live the rest of your life in the kingdom of God. And when you die, you'll come back with him after the rapture and you will see the kingdom of heaven set up on the earth. Okay. I... I I'm ready to go take my newly built boat to the river. Now here's a picture of all the kids getting ready to go with me. Yeah. Come on, take it. <laughs>